Okay, last example, example 11. A current of 3 ampere flows in coil C and produce a magnetic flux of 0.75 Weber in it. When a coil D is moved near to coil C coaxially, a flux of 0.25 Weber is produced in coil D. If coil C has 1,000 turns and coil D has 5,000 turns, calculate the self-inductance of coil C and the energy stored in C before D is moved near to it. Okay. So, given is the current of coil C, which is 3 ampere, and then the mag magnetic flux of coil C, which is 0.75 Weber, and then magnetic flux coil D is 0.25 Weber. Uh, so, coil C has 1000 turns, and... And coil D has 5,000 turns. Okay, so from this, we are going to calculate the self inductance of coil C that is just NC me uh, phi phi CIC. So this is going to give us 250 Henry SD self inductance of coil C. Okay, and then the energy stored, we just use directly the equation. This one lah. So this gives us 1125 joules. Okay, question B. It asks us to calculate the material inductance of the coils given of the coils lah. Okay. So it is given by M and D V D over I C. Okay. So you can use either uh, C at all D lah. Okay. But do we have ID? No, we do not have ID. So that's why we are using coil D. Lah. Because we have uh, the current for coil C. So that this would give you 417 Henry. And then question C. It asks us to calculate the induced EMF in coil D. We know that DT is equal to 0.25 seconds. And then the current for YC is 0 minus... 3 which is negative 3 ampere okay so the induced emf for current coil d is just negative m d i c over d t so this is gonna be equal to 5004 volt okay all right um yes so that is the solution for example number 11